When there is a call for dehumidification, a portion of the hot gas from the compressor bypasses the condenser coil and is fed into the liquid line. At this point, it is mixed with the subcooled refrigerant leaving the condenser coil. This two-phase mixture is routed through the perfect humidity tank coil and then the evaporator. Additional subcooling occurs in the perfect humidity coil. When this refrigerant is fed into the evaporator, the result is a colder coil surface. The air is cooled and dehumidified as it flows across the evaporator. It is then reheated to neutral conditions by the perfect humidity coil. The air is cooled and dehumidified as it flows across the evaporator. It is then reheated to neutral conditions by the perfect humidity coil. When room temperature and humidity above set point, subcooling mode will on. Call for cooling and dehumidification. In this mode, the liquid refrigerant leaves the condenser and is routed through the perfect humidity tank coil, downstream of the condenser, and then through the evaporator. The indoor air stream passes over the evaporator first then over the perfect humidity coil, further subcooling the refrigerant. This highly subcooled refrigerant is then fed to the evaporator coil, creating a colder evaporator coil surface. At the same time, the air leaving the evaporator is partially reheated to prevent overcooling of the space. Air enters into dehumidifying area, it flows slowly to upper part of rotor through tiny holes after being cooled. Stream of moist air is absorbed by active silica gel and becomes dry air. It is necessary to regenerate and restore absorbent to keep dehumidifying performance of dehumidifier.